Hi guys, in this video I'm going to walk you through how to set up your breadboard so that you can um, create a working circuit with it. So, quick introduction here, this is Tinkercad. I've already started a new circuit. It's giving up this uh, um, nice name up here, which I can rename later on whenever I get out of the actual um, circuit mode. I can't do anything about that while I'm here. Um, let's talk about this first. Uh, we need to add a breadboard is going to be the first thing we add. The small breadboard I've found is going to work for just about everything we do in this class. Grab one of these guys, I'm going to click. It comes in in this orientation. I don't know if you like this or not. I kind of prefer to work vertically. If you hit the R button, it will rotate objects. You can leave it like this if you want to. You can leave it sideways. It really doesn't truly matter. What you need to understand, I'm going to hit escape real quick, is that when you look at the breadboard, you see that it connects dots underneath. And what's really happening is, is underneath this piece of plastic, there's a little metal strip that actually connects those little spots, A1, B1, C1, D1, and E1. It connects all five of those across the bottom. So if I plug something into hole, the hole here, and I plug, plug a different object into the hole here, those are actually connected underneath the board by a wire that's kind of invisible to us. It actually looks like that underneath the board. And so this program is pretty cool in the fact that it actually shows you those connections. And that works the way anywhere you go here. All of these different rows that you see here, they're all connected on both sides of the boards. And what you do notice, though, that it does not jump across the gap here. So these five are separate from these five, which is going to be very important for what we do. Also, I want you to notice there's a red line. Look at that. It connects all the way across. And a black line. It connects all the way across. Typically, these are used for power and ground. So what we're going to do then is we're going to go add another component. Let's add a power supply. So I'm going to go to basic components, and I have to switch this to all components to get the power supply. I'm just going to go over here. Easiest way is to type the word power. It's going to be the thing that looks like this. This power supply allows us to come over here. I'm going to, I'm going to drop it over here to the side. Maybe right here is fine. And what it allows us to do is put in a power supply of any voltage and any current. If I click on it, it says right now the voltage is 5 volts and the current is 5 volts, or 5 amps, excuse me. Um, for the first problem in this activity, you're going to switch it to 9 volts. So we can just type the number 9 in. Don't worry about the current for now. I do need to connect this to power supply. So what I'm going to do then, I'm going to take the red wire. I'm down here. I'm going to click once, and then I'm going to come to the side. It's going to bend the wire. I'm going to plug it into the very first hole in the red line. Now, if you don't like the fact that this is actually bent at a weird angle, you can always drag these around kind of details-oriented. I like right angles. So I'm going to do this. I'm also going to do one other thing. I'm going to color code my wires as I go along. So I'm going to change this and make it red. Then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do the same thing. Click once here. Form an angle. Click. I'm going to resituate this. There you go. Resituate it to make it 90 degrees. I'm also going to change this to be a black wire. So now I have a 9 volt signal that's coming in all the way down the red line. If I plug into any one of these holes, I'm going to get a 9 volt battery supply, basically, is what I'm getting here. One other thing that I want to do, these aren't actually connected. Even though they're black, and these are black, they're not actually connected to each other. So I'm going to make one more adjustment before I get going, and then our breadboard is set up. We're going to take the black here, and we're going to connect straight across with the wire to the other black one. And that way we can use power on ground on either side whenever we do this. So we're going to use ground to ground, power to power, color code black and red. And now I have a breadboard that's set up. And now I have also now 9 volts on this side on any of these holes. And I have grounded on this side any of the black holes. So I can use any of the black or red runners on either side. Hopefully that helps you. We are set up, we are ready to go, and to add in components like LEDs and push buttons and things like that, which I'll have another video for that. But the breadboard is set up and ready to use.